busking and traveling. Both incredible things in their own right, don't get me wrong. But put them together, now that's a match made in heaven. Let's use this video to try and explain why. Oh, by the way, I'm not getting on a plane. Not today anyway, that's another video. Coming soon. So today, I'm combining the busking with the traveling. I have a destination to go to, started this morning in Brighton, but what I'm gonna do is stop halfway to my destination. We're gonna go for a bus. Well then we made it. The halfway house where we will spend today busking is of course, Guildford. If I remember rightly, town is this way, under this ominous subway. It's funny what you can remember from only being in a place once. But I think because I made a video, it imprints on my memory a little easy. Right, let's do this game plan, mission statement. What's today all about? All right then. Let's talk about the game plan, shall we? The game plan! Ha, or my mission statement for today anyway. So I'm here in Guildford, not my intended destination. I'm going somewhere further afield uh, later on today, but I'm here to busk. Now, it cost me 19 pound 5p for a train to get here. There's gonna be another train fare later on this afternoon, this evening, to go to where I'm going. I also booked a room to stay in tonight and that cost me 52 pound. The mission of the day is to earn in donations what I've spent. So in theory, by the end of the day, it will be like as if I haven't spent any money. I'll have made it all back. If we're lucky, we get a bit of profit. And if we get a bit of profit, then we'll buy a fancy meal. And that, my friends, that's the game plan. Remember the, the main high street in this town centre is closed to traffic between 11 and 4. Looks like they've just closed it because it's just gone 11. So they've just closed it. And I remember that this is a main spot right here outside Marks and Spencer. So maybe I just go here, back up against this thing. Shall we do that? I'm going to bus here. Is this okay? Like a good spot? Yeah? Have you ever seen anyone else play here? No. Will I be the first time? Thank you. Should be okay. I'd say the only issue with this spot is you're on a big slope. If I'm uh, setting up here and my bottle falls over, I'm probably going to roll down the hill. So I've got to make sure that doesn't happen. Perhaps I'll do like an hour or so here and then move up to the, the Guild Hall clock, which is up the, in the middle of the high street. Still a little bit sleepy here. Not seeing a whole lot of people, but... That's not a bad thing. Probably comes as no surprise that the first and most prominent point I want to raise about the combination of busking and travelling is the fact that you can work on the road. Meaning travelling doesn't have to cost you money. Actually, you might come back from travelling with a profit, like being paid to travel and do what you love at the same time. That's incredible, man. No idea how this is gonna go. I remember the last time I was here, I didn't even have a trolley yet. That's how long ago it was. I was still walking around carrying everything. The evolution, man, the evolution of ARP. Got me thinking that her leaves 
Stevens Gotta be John Lee, Elijah Cool Reese And I got a last part at a fitness park lot And I've been on one hell of a redneck road for three weeks Then that all started on the day she walked out When it rains and pours, yeah. Not a bad little view for a spot. I've also snapped the string. But yeah, going well so far. I'd say it's all right. We've been going for about half an hour. So yeah, busking traveling is a way to earn money on the road. And especially if you love music and you love performing music, like, it's kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? Like, if you're a musician and you want to travel, it doesn't even have to be a crazy travel, man. You can do what I'm doing right now, just have a little weekend, you know? Or you can, you know, go mad and head to Europe, Australia, or even the USA. There was this girl, here and I, shooting Alaska in a trouble crane. I ain't never seen. I'm reading a great book by David Fisher, fellow busker at the moment, called Busking Beyond Borders. Highly recommend you check it out. It's got me very inspired to do some of my own further travels. But for now, Guildford will do. Guildford and then where we're going on. Yeah, there was this girl. Some folks ask me why I still play this guitar. Could have sworn I saw another busker but he didn't walk past. I just saw him in the corner of my eye behind me. Maybe I've got a fellow busker in town. We'll see, we'll see. If, if there is, I hope that they come and talk to me. I like talking to other buskers, man. We shouldn't be shy of each other. We should introduce ourselves. There was this girl I'm still out of my mind Cause she's out of this wall Yeah, there was this girl Yeah, there was this girl. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. Update time. That's <laughs> very slow. It's my honest answer. I've been going for an hour, and we're doing okay. It's like it's not like it's dead, but it's. Slow. I can't remember if it was slow or not the last time I was here, but one of those things. This is a funky spot, I think. Like, part of me wonders whether I should go over there, that side, because the foot traffic is much more prominent on that side of the pavement. That said, there is lots of foot traffic this side. But people seem timid about walking on the road, so maybe that's contributing a bit, I don't know. Either way. One of the wonderful things about traveling and busking is obviously like the travel side of getting to experience a new place but also getting to experience the place through music you know almost all the traveling i've ever done in my life has been through music because most of the traveling i got to do when i was younger was through the band thank you so much appreciate it i'm gonna play some more we'll carry on with this story in a minute so i ride the wave on this wave or jump into the sea yeah. Tell me which way to the beach I say You can't even get out of here One thing I think that's really cool about travelling and busking You stop in a place that you might not necessarily have stopped in I've, I've stopped here because it's the best place between Brighton and where I'm going Maybe I wouldn't have come here otherwise And that's really cool man I think I need a sign to get out of here Gotta say that she agrees I guess another thing is the fact that you are likely to meet people through busking. People stop and talk to buskers all the time. I've got first-hand experience of that. That and people with cameras. If you hold a camera or a musical instrument out in the middle of the street, chances are a stranger is going to talk to you. And if you're on a travel, and dang man, you could use that to your advantage. Get to know some locals. Probably not for me today though, because I've got to leave here and, and head onwards. But maybe I'd get to know someone that I'd be able to meet up with if I was to ever come back here, you never know. They've gone and closed all the country's borders. Hope they're gonna get us down. And she 
come to me like seriously Man, I need to get away I should say it's definitely a bit slow on the ground, I'm not going to lie. There's a fair few people, but not. De donations are very far and few between. I think I should probably move and try a different spot, because it's just not going as well as it could be. And I'm, I'm not convinced it's because there's, the people don't like me. I'm convinced that it's to do with where I am. I don't think this is a very good spot. So let's go and set up somewhere where it's a bit more convenient, I think. We've only got three hours until the road opens, and I need to get enough to buy a train to get out of here at least. Beach. <laughs> okay, let's try. Try walking up the high street and see if we can find a best. We played there for like an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes, and I made £16.91. So I haven't even made my first train to get back yet, let alone my room or my trick ticket out of here. And if I don't make lots of money, then dinner tonight's gonna be a sandwich and a pack of crisps, maybe a pack of carrot sticks. Despite all that though, this place is very beautiful. It's a very pretty little high street, this one. Oh, here you go then, outside the guild hall. Played here last time I was here and it's very good. In fact, last time I was here, the chocolate shop across the road gave me free chocolate. The, the, the amount of pavement space isn't huge, but it will do, I think. It will do. I really hope this goes better than down there. Oh, I guess the problem with busking and traveling in this way is you can't guarantee that you'll make it back. But remember that you don't have to make it back in one day. Like for me right now, it would be nice to make it all back today. But I busk all the time, so it's not that I have to, you know? I suppose it's a good thing to show you all of the reality. It's not the worst thing to be showing you that it, it doesn't always work out exactly as you plan. But know that if it hasn't worked out, it will work out in the end. And if it hasn't worked out yet, then it's not the end. There's always a reason for it. It's important to remember that. Not many smiles. I'm not liking the lack of smiles, man. Have I got like a zit on my face or something? Is that what? This is going not very well. But oh well, part of the game, I guess. I think there's something else to be said here, but the fact that not many people are coming by and talking to me. Why is that? Is it because it's the end of January? Is it the January blues? I've got a counter argument to the fact that it's the January blues in that, that the last two Januaries have been the best months of the year. Both 2023 and 2022, January is my, my best month in terms of donations. So I disagree. I don't know why it is. It's freaking me out though. Craig it up, not as bad. Yeah, yeah. I guess the bad news about traveling and busking is 
Busking holds a lot of emotion, so you start to project that emotion onto the place. Like this might, this is a lovely place. I already know it's a lovely place because I came here before and it was good. Today it's not doing so well as far as busking, which means I'm kind of tarnishing it with that emotion, you know. I'm just being honest. That's all. The lesson I want to get across right now. Yeah, we could all Obviously, usually I wouldn't set any kind of expectation on the total amount of donation. This is purely for entertainment purposes, making this video that I put some expectation on it. But there's something very important that if you're just out on your normal bus and you're not doing a video like I am right now, to not put any expectation on, on the amount that you'll make. Because if you don't make it, you might find that your emotions raise up. Like I can't help but feel a bit disappointed in the people walking past me right now that they're not paying me more attention. When actually it's not their, it's not their problem, is it? It's mine. But that's only because I've set some ex expectation on this video. And usually I wouldn't do that. When I'm on my bread and butter days, I don't do anything like that. Despite all this, I do think it's so worth combining busking with traveling. Even if you're just like going to stay with your family, take your stuff with you. Always worth it, man. Especially if you enjoy it as much as I do. I guess that makes it three o'clock, an hour before this road opens up to trapping again. If you're from Guildford, please let us know in the comments what it's like for busking usually. I don't think that today's total is going to be very high. In fact, it might be one of the lowest totals I've ever had. But we'll see. So much. Just about to finish and a woman said that she recognised me from YouTube because her daughter watches the videos. Who watched the video, came busking here and now she sings on a cruise ship. Wow, so cool. And I guess she's going up. I guess she's going up. I guess she's going up. Oh lordy lordy lordy. I had a profound realisation during that busk just then. Really profound. Something that, that we need to discuss. Because it closely relates to the subject of this video. <laughs> Yes, a profound realization. I've got to tell you about it. It's just, it's made everything make sense. Everything that I've been talking about today has made it all made sense. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Let's get to the platform first. Okay, okay, first off, first off. Spot two there, I made 30 pound 5p. So, so the total for the day is like 45 quid. It's fine, it's paid for my first train and this second train so I can get to where I'm going. But this big realization I just had. So when you combine traveling and busking, there's two ways to look at it. You can busk to travel. So you could, your sole purpose is to go traveling, go see places, go meet people. What, you know, the usual thing that traveling entails. And you could use busking as a way to do it. Or you could do what I do, and this is just, just hit me. You can travel to busk. Go places for the sole purpose of busking. Because where I'm going right now, I'm going there to busk to film a video. So I can film a busking in video in a place that I've not been yet. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm traveling 
I'm not busking to travel, I'm traveling to bus. And maybe that's what I want to advocate people to do. Go places for the sole purpose of busking. Oh man. I've just realized that that's what I love. I love that. I love traveling to play music. Not necessarily playing music in order to travel. Like I love both things. I love busking and traveling, but yeah. Dang, I'm having this crazy epiphany. That last spot there, I was feeling a bit sad throughout the set until the very end when a, a lady came over and told me that her daughter watches my YouTube channel. Uh, 1543 Great Western Railway service to Reading is delayed by 13 minutes. We're sorry that your journey will take longer than planned. Yes, friends. You'll be pleased to know that I made it to my destination safe and sound. You'll just have to watch next week's video to find out where I ended up. I've got a quick thing to talk to you about. It requires a little story. So about two years ago, back when I had about 200 subscribers, I decided I'd make some merch. And I created these notebooks, ARP notebooks. I drew all this, that's my design, and had them printed on recycled paper. Pretty cool. It's a cool like back image there too. I put them online at the time and maybe sold two and then sold no more. Shocking. I then went on to forget about them until last week when one of you rad folk bought one. And then unbeknown to that individual, another person bought one without me even announcing it. Two people in the same week. So I did a little announcement on Instagram and that meant several other people bought them. I had 50 of these made. I've probably got about 40 left or 39 or something. And I'd love to get them sold. So if you want one, they're on my website. The link is in the description. It would be rad if you bought one. I think it's a great way of supporting my journey and actually getting something tangible in return. It's also a very exclusive piece of merch. I, I very much doubt I'll be remaking these. And you know, you can use them for anything. You can write down your busking set lists in them, all your ideas, your video ideas, your song lyrics. It's just a plain lined notebook, but it's cool. And um, that alien dude is um, a character I call Far Out Dude. Loosely based on myself. But yeah, so if you want one, link in the description. And if you order one, I'll get it posted to you as, as quick as I possibly can. You might even get a little note from me. That's all. Um, if you like this video, then drop it a like. If you're new around here, make sure you click subscribe. Then you can find out where I ended up next week. If you're a true fan, you can turn the notifications on. And if you want to give me a donation and not have a notebook in return, you can leave a super thanks. And if you have a little bit more money lying around, then I have a Patreon where I post exclusive content. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching this. I, I really do appreciate it. It's, it's pretty rad to be honest. And I'm gonna keep making videos. They come out every Monday. And I will see you in the next one. Until next time, peace, love, and happiness. Dinner. <laughs> down, gonna get me down. Salty breeze that sets me free, it's all I really need. Boy, I gotta get out of here.